see a lot of people just eating out when it takes 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Like just to make a simple, like not a lot of ingredients, just very, very simple, delicious meal. But then I think back when I was like 10, 11, I was never really cooking anything. And it honestly never used to interest me as much. Like I just didn't think about it until I started cooking. So that's something I highly encourage is to start cooking, start by something you, you like eating. Honestly, just get inside the kitchen and start cooking. And maybe you'll surprise yourself. I am and I'm not your average 14 year old kid. I'm gonna try to take you on a journey from one thing to another. I wanna have different flavors, I want you to experience different kinds of tastes, textures, presentations, all of that. So today we're gonna to make one of my all-time favorite dishes, and that's homemade tomato sauce with toasted pineapples. Now I know what you're thinking, it's just tomato sauce. But these toasted pineapples take your classic, regular tomato sauce and they take it to a whole nother level. Now I know pineapples can be kind of expensive, but it's totally worth it because it brings a whole nother dimension to the dish. So let's start. So you guys are gonna need some onion, fresh basil, one clove of garlic, pine nuts, canned tomatoes, and just regular pasta. Now you could make fresh pasta if you like to, but I sometimes people are kind of rushing, so I just wanted to make this really quick, simple, easy. Six ingredients, let's do it. I'm gonna start off by just chopping up some onion, and we're gonna need about three quarter cup of onion. And we're just going to try to get this into smallest pieces as possible. Across and then just dice that up. So next we're going to grab our clove of garlic. And then just grab your knife and go give it a little smush. Just dice that up really nice and small. Perfect. So that's one clove of garlic. So now that we've minced up our garlic and we chopped our onion, we're just going to blend up our can of tomatoes. Now this is like one small can of diced tomatoes. It's roughly about 14 ounces. Perfect. That should be good. Nice and smooth. No lumps in our sauce. Alright, so we've got most of our pepper done. Now I'm going to grab a sauce pot and turn that on medium high heat. Let that guy heat up, drizzle in some oil, and we're gonna start caramelizing our onions to develop a little bit of flavor and base of our sauce. All right, so our pan's nice and hot, and we're just gonna throw in our onions. And now we're just gonna let these cook out, and we're just gonna stir them a little bit. So I turn my heat down a little bit and we're just going to let these cook out and develop some color and flavor. Alright, so our onions are becoming a nice light brown color and now we're going to throw in our garlic. Perfect. And then just give that a little stir. So our onions and garlic are cooking up and they're a nice brown color. So now we're going to turn the temp off for a second and add in our tomato puree. And then we're going to turn the temp back on, on medium to low heat. Just how we now it's time for the sauce just to really develop in flavor and just cook down for as long as you can. So, I'm going to season this with uh, some fresh pepper. And a little bit of salt. Here comes the waiting game. We got to let this simmer down. Yes, I do think children should be cooking but to a certain extent with, with some sort of parent supervision because when I started cooking at the start, 
my mom was like was like watching me even though she she like trusted me before I was never allowed to like touch a pan or anything. So it came to a point where she had confidence in me that I could like go inside the kitchen, use what I need to use, the stove, anything, and I've been actually really careful and I haven't gotten uh, too many cuts since. Now you can't have tomato sauce without some fresh basil. So what we're gonna do is just bundle this up and just give it a nice slice. And then grab your basil and just throw it in your sauce. Mmm. You can already smell like this really nice lemony essence from the basil and the tomato sauce cooking out. It's actually almost done, so that means it's time for our pine nuts. The key to making this happen is no oil in the pan, no butter, nothing. Straight out dry a pan, and that's how you properly toast the pine nuts. And now you want to turn your pine nuts. Come on. <laughs> there we go. On medium low heat, you don't want to put it too high because you don't want to burn them, but just occasionally toss them and you'll get like this really nice light brown color. To them. All right, so when the pan starts to get a little smoky and then they start to turn a little brown there, you have to stay at the stove and stir them every 10 15 seconds. Don't go anywhere else. All right, now all you guys need to do, lift open your pan with the tomato sauce and just dump them right in. Dang, this looks good. All right, I don't wanna keep giving the people the same thing over and over and over again. I don't wanna give you steak or like a piece of chicken that's kind of American style or just everything that has soy sauce or something like that in it. I want to have different flavors. I want you to experience different kinds of tastes, textures, presentations, all that. We're going to grab our pasta and turn it in our boiling water. Now I'm using fettuccine. You can use spaghetti or any kind of pasta you really want. But I love it with fettuccine. It's a little thicker pasta and it just really soaks everything up really nicely. So what I like to do is cook it a minute less than how you would usually like it. Because then I like to finish it and toss it around in our sauce a little bit. Because that will actually continue to cook the pasta a little bit. So our sauce has been cooking away. It smells incredible. And just put in your pasta. Alright, so now we're going to grab our pasta and we're gonna plate this in here. So the way I love to plate this dish is actually a little unconventional. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna place this inside our glass, kind of like our dome-shaped glass, and just kind of pack it down a little bit. And then just place it on the center of your plate. Just like so. And then press it down a little bit and then lift up. In fact, and then what I like to do, because you can't have pasta without some sort of cheese, so we're just gonna sprinkle not a lot, just a little bit of cheese on top. And then a couple raw pine nuts for a little bit of crunch and presentation. And there you guys have it homemade tomato sauce with toasted pine nuts. Such an easy six ingredient meal to make. I would definitely highly, highly recommend go trying this at home. Thank you guys for watching.